Hello everybody, it's Michelle here. I already had a card fling out. So as I was getting ready to record here, there was a big message coming through about joy, trying to find joy, trying to find beauty in the smallest things and learning to be, as we've been saying for a very long time, to be spiritually resourceful. And I think that is part of that. Trying to find a bit of joy in anything, whether, I don't know, whether it's going outside or a project, any of those kinds of things. Okay, take care of yourselves. We have two aerial cards out already. One is nine of aerial and the other one is strength. It has the number 11 on it. We're going through a huge surge, a huge push to um, overcome. So there will be something to overcome and we can get through it, but we're going to have to find our strength. That 11 is a master number. So we're in the phase of mastery. Eight of Michael, we got to come out of our old thinking. And the high priestess, yeah, a very, very, very spiritual time. This is not the time to be going, oh, I'm so mad at my boss or... You know, why can't I have this? Why can't I have that? It's not that time. We have to be working on uh, the higher realm. The higher realm. Find something that brings you a lot of joy. Yeah. Because it will activate your healing power. So let's go through this story here. The first card. I'll put them in order first. <laughs> okay. Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Okay, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. That's what they were talking about. Find some joy in the beautiful things in life. And really what this is saying is not that person who you fell in love with is not going to come around and say that they love you or you're going to get the job of your dreams. It's looking around at what is already there and realizing just how lucky you are. Okay, and from that space, you know, gratitude attracts in more, more of what you want, right? So that's what that is talking about. And I can't tell you how many people, <laughs> how many times, and I've done this myself, but how many times we'll get into this space of like, yeah, 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 that's all well and good. But when am I going to get what I want, right? And this is saying what you want is already here. You're learning to open your eyes and see it for what it is, okay? So then we have the strength card, as I said, Archangel Ariel, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. We are going through this incredible healing time, you know, as individuals and in the collective. And that's going to take a lot of our strength to allow that transformation to occur. If we fight it all along the way, if we play the victim, if we think we know best and we're just going to go with what our ego tells us is the right thing to do and then we fall flat on our faces, <laughs> right? You know, it, it gets a little complicated, right? So the strength is um, a strength of faith, I would say, which is hard right now. I, I know. I'm a human in this world as well. I know how tough that can be. But if we're going to get to that place of self-mastery, and be able to see the beautiful blessings that are already there to perceive them. That's part of the mastery. Okay, we have to step back and get out of our own way. Stop self-sabotaging, right? And allow this process to flow. We have eight of Michael. And it says, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. We have for forever gotten ourselves trapped. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thinking we had to take the hard way, you know, all the information, all the advice we were ever given, we took it as like, that's, those are the rules of life. And that's just how it goes. And you don't deviate from that. This is saying, not so. That is not so. That is not true. And you're going to learn to free yourself. But look at what she's doing. She's having to step outside that gate there. And she's looking around. You might have to go into uncharted territory. You might have to step out of your comfort zone in order to make something happen, all right? Now, again, if you're working from the outside in and most people watching this, you're doing that, okay? 
I will be happy when I get that job. I will be happy when I'm out of debt. I will be happy when I have this love partner. If that is the space you're living from and all you ever want to do is go, yeah, yeah, I hear the spiritual stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. But go back to this. Oh, you missed the point. <laughs> you missed the point. Go back, all right? Because the high priestess is coming in here and saying, our place of balance is realizing, and part of that mastery is realizing we have to work from the inside out, not outside in, right? So you become peaceful first. Even if everything is falling apart, you guys think I'm like not living this with you? Of course I am. I feel you, okay? <laughs> like Lots of things have been going on around here as well. And uh, it can be very stressful. It can be scary. It's, it's all of those things. But then I tune in and go, this is all made up anyway. I will figure it out. I pray on it. I meditate upon it. And I then get out of my own way and allow the solution to appear without me controlling it. That's part of this, the high priestess and learning to be balanced when we are trying to manifest something. So this says powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace, right? So that valuable information is the harder you push on this, the worse it's going to get. Or the harder you try to contrive the future, contrive the outcome, especially in a collective that's not yet settled, that already has all of its own transformations it's going through. We don't listen to our intuition. We're going to be in for a lot of struggle, a lot of strife, a lot of pain. And it's just going to boil down to us having to overcome even more. That's where this comes in. So this is blue. Activate your healing power. The number is 37. If I want to leave it at 37. I mean, you can reduce it to one if you want, but... Uh, this is definitely saying we're, we're being asked to upgrade in a way. Now, some people who are star seeds and all of that, you know, you might look at this and have a completely different viewpoint to this. But this with the high priestess and this, which is saying break out of, <laughs> some of you might say the matrix, the matrix, maybe, okay, maybe, but break out of, you can't keep just throwing the term the matrix out there to absolve you of any accountability for your life. Quit hiding behind that, okay? Break out of your own thinking. <laughs> yes, there is the matrix, but you need to take accountability for how you show up in life. Yes, that's part of this, the mastery, okay? So we all have to get into that place so that we can be happy. Where we realize, you know what, we have absolutely everything we could possibly need. The only thing we need to do is get back in touch with that healing and not just think that, you know, healing is done one time or two times and that should be good. No, we're ever evolving. We're ever learning. That's why we have this entire lifetime to work through all of that. Okay. So we're going to leave that there. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.